Namaste. Welcome. The practice of Kachari Mudra is not just about Kundalini awakening and rising it. It's not just about making the astral system or the chakra sensitive and open. It's more than the trance. It's even more than just the goal of attaining Samadhi. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. These are all beautiful spiritual realizations and experiences we could gain from the practice, not just of the Gachari Mudra, but the practice in general. Because these are organic, they will just happen. Right? Because these are energy's way of draining out of our system. Yeah, when our body is so uh, filled with energy already, there's no way but for it to exit the body through the nervous system. Thus, it will manifest as absorption. But it should not be the end goal. Right? When it's time to happen, it will happen. Right? So for me, uh, a healthy your path a more meaningful you know, journey and a more long-lasting benefit we can gain from the practice of the Gachari Mudra is for us to make use of it to promote our health and wellness. Thus, we would have more energy yeah, to accomplish our spiritual responsibility to the community, which is a beautiful realization we can gain from Absorption. Right. Absorption is just a tool for us to understand the process. What happens after? We need to go back. You know, we need to help. We need to promote you know, the welfare and the goodwill of all. So what's the use of attaining it you know, if after the practice the body is exhausted, you now we don't have time to accomplish uh, spiritual responsibility to the community. If you're not a teacher, if you're not doing community service, if you're not teaching, yeah, no worries. The fact that you're taking care of your body is your spiritual responsibility because you hold inside you yeah. the divine force. Right? So how do we now make use of the Kachuri Mudra in the promotion of our health and wellness? I will be sharing with you some personal practice of mine. Yeah, really, Gachari Mudra is helping me manage my health. Yeah. I would feel the onset of energetic blockages. Thus, before they accumulate, yeah, I'm able to dissolve them right away. And I prevent myself from getting ill. Not just that, to correct any uh, imbalances, yeah, energetic and bodily imbalances. Yeah. Because there are deep uh, energetic stagnation balances we hold inside the body, which the asanas, even how intense and powerful they are, the breath work, they're never enough. In fact, if you overdo your asanas, if you overdo your breath regulation, it could make your issues worse. Because doing them yeah, um, so powerfully could overheat the system. And then when we produce too much of the copper, the fire, it could burn up the soma. Yeah, the water element and then if we burn up the soma it will leave the body in pain yeah, emotional imbalances as well restlessness it could even overstimulate our energetic system yeah, um, agitated and it's not good All right now the Kachari Mudra it is so deep yeah, that it could go really deep to those hidden spots without us exerting too much effort physical effort and even not too much of the breath regulation. A simple Ujjayi breath or even a natural breath would be enough already for us to serve the purpose of deep internal cleansing. All right. So how do we do that? Okay. Now you might be at the stage of your practice already that you're so comfortable holding you know, your tongue inside the throat. Right. Now, the tongue really has a direct connection to the three fundamental nadis, Ida, Pingala, and the Shushumna. Yeah. And these three fundamental nadis could easily be felt around the trunk region, from the hips to the upper chest. Yeah. If you slide the tongue yeah, up to, for example, uh, the um, backs of the tops of the nasal cavity, and then you can uh, breathe through it using the Ujjayi breath or your natural breath, and then you can uh, suck the sensation up, yeah. you could yeah, really isolate that channel and then 
do your internal cleansing of that channel alone. Like you are brushing through the deep energetic pathways and then you're ridding those pathways of the stagnation with an inhalation. Especially if you're doing the Ujjayi because the Ujjayi breath has a way of really opening you know, the body from the inside. And then when you practice the Ujjayi breath in conjunction with the uh, Kachari Mudra, you know, aside from you opening the pathways, you really expand the inner body. You know, like the body becomes so hollow inside, there's nothing there but the breath. And then the breath could be used and the awareness could be used to really go to those deep spots you know, that you need cleansing. All right. And then you do that with your left channel as well. Right. And even then, because the body is not perfectly balanced, we all have physical imbalances. And personally, I tend to overuse my left side more because I use my left side demonstrating that I miss my students. So normally, at the end of the day, I would feel this really tired and heavy. So I will use now the Kesari Mudra. I will slide my tongue really high up the backs of the left nasal cavity. And together with the two bottom bandhas, the Mula Bandha and the Odeira Bandha, I will throw the sensation up because we can actually utilize the breath in creating more length inside and to lengthen the muscles and to correct imbalances but definitely it's wise to work both ways but one side is always that they just have to work that side twice and after that you know you have to yeah work the middle channel as well without us really necessarily sending the electricity inside the brain so because traditionally in the capture remote you need to seal yeah, the um, the shishumna, the endpoints of the shishumna, and then keep the energy confined inside while you're doing your attention. But as a way of cleansing, as a way of promoting a uh, healthy flow of the healing force, you don't have to do that. So what I will do from for my personal practice, because between the right and the left channels, there's really the hole yeah, between, and it really it, uh, connects all the way down to the bottom of the hips. So I will still be using the ujjayi breath, but Instead of sealing the tongue really high up the uh, shishun nanadi, I will slightly open it forward. And so I will just allow it to gently rise. And the sensation is really soothing, it's relaxing, really. When you work the ujjayi breath and not sealing the energy, just relax the tongue and then just make room for the energy to lightly rise inside the nervous system. Just a mild one. You don't have to retain. Yeah, just to create that soothing sensation inside the nervous system and just exhale. Yeah. So you don't have to do the retention, just breathe through it. One breath and exhale. All right. So hopefully with that one, you know, you're able to make use and maximize the potential of the Kachari Mudra together with your energetic locks, not just in the purpose of attaining absorption, but for a more meaningful and long-lasting benefit, which is yeah, for the promotion of your health and wellness. Hope you learned something from that one. Till the next time. Namaste.